Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 11.3 maxima and minima problems. 11.3 represents chapter 11, section 3 of the Pearson A level maths applied maths year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. Consider the following velocity time graph. At a maximum or a minimum velocity, dv over dt is equal to 0. So we've got a local minimum here and we've got a local maximum here. If we draw a tangent to each of these points, we can see that the gradient is 0. So at a minimum or a maximum, dv over dt is equal 0. These are the key facts of 11.3 maxima and minima problems. I'll be implementing these key facts within this exam style question. Let's have a look at the exam style question. A particle P moves along the x-axis. Its velocity V meters per second in the positive x direction at time T seconds is given by V equal 2T squared minus 3T plus 5. For the restriction T is greater than or equal to 0. Part A, show that P never comes to rest. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. Now, let's suppose that P comes to rest. This implies that the velocity V of the particle P has to equal 0. So, we have the quadratic equation 2T squared minus 3T plus 5 equal 0. The A is equal to the B is equal minus 3 and the C is equal 5. Let's calculate the discriminant B squared minus 4AC. So we've got minus 3 in bracket squared minus 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5. This gives me minus 31 which is less than 0. Hence V equals 0 has no real roots and so the particle P never comes to rest as required. That completes part A of the exam style question. Now in part B, we want to find the minimum velocity of P. So we have that at a minimum velocity, dv over dt is equal to zero. That was one of our key facts over here. So if we differentiate the velocity term by term, we get 40 minus three. So that is your dv over dt has to equal zero. Solving this gives us t equal three over four. So the velocity is minimized. So v min uh, when t is equal three over four. So we can substitute t equal three over four into the velocity equation. So we have two lots of three over four squared minus three lots of three over four plus five. So the minimum velocity will equal 3.875 meters per second. That there, ladies and gents, completes the exam style question and this teaching video 11.3 maxima and minima problems. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.